I took a couple, you know, I took some time off to rest, and now it's game time, bitches. You have no idea. Hello, baby, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Audrey. For those of you who don't know me, and to the rest of the gang, what's up? If you're new here, thank you. For, <laughs> if you're new here, thank you for finally gracing us with your presence, and to all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in for yet another video. So I see while I was gone, the fit, the family grew a bit. Um, welcome to you all. I am so sorry I haven't been filming guys or rather I haven't been posting because I did film a couple of videos but I didn't like them but anyway we're here now it's fine um so where have I been <laughs> um so uh in January rather um I got that letter that told me that I'm graduating blah 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 so I had to start moving out of my other apartment but because i hadn't received responses from other universities and i wasn't getting like any jobs like i wasn't getting a job so i wasn't sure where my life was going and my dad was like nope pack your shit and come home child so i was like oh okay cool so i was packing to go home and on the day where my mom came to fetch me um i received a response from up so now i was trying to find like an apartment because i received a response from up i think like on the 24th and i had to be out of the apartment on the 28th yeah i think that's right on the 28th so i was trying to like find an apartment that i could move to so that i don't move my things to storage but i couldn't find one so i had to move my things to storage and start looking for an apartment after that so i would look for apartments online and i had i had to travel between limpopo and gauteng to come view those apartments so it was a very it was a very hectic time in my life oh my gosh guys but yeah it was a very hectic time in my life i couldn't film i couldn't do anything if you follow me if you follow me on instagram you'll realize that i didn't even post on instagram as well but okay cool so i was looking for an apartment and then eventually i found an apartment and it was an apartment oh it, it was that process was so hard you guys apartments in that area are so shit like you find apartments that are not what they should be charging like an arm and a leg like the rentals was just crazy but eventually i found an apartment uh it was a two-bedroom duplex and i was gonna share with my cousin uh and then on the day we i finalized the apartment things i got a, i got another response from vids and they had accepted me as well so obviously i'm like now what do i do you know do i go to up do i go to vets do i go to up do i go to vets and then while i was waiting while i was like trying to make the decision i got another response from um nmu no i'm lying yeah nelson mandela university yes and then i was like oh my god like i've always wanted to move like far from home because when I started out in varsity, I wanted to go to UKZN and my dad was like, no, that is too far. Uh, go to Pretoria. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So because I'd always wanted to move away from home, I thought maybe this would be my opportunity. But I called my cousin because I couldn't make a decision on my own. I called her and I was like, cuz, this is what's happening. Help me out. And then she was like girl why is this even a question go to vets and i was like oh okay cool vets it is so now i had to start apartment hunting in johannesburg and yes if i thought pretoria was the ghetto Joburg is worse like oh my god i could not believe it 
every apartment i found was either in a horrible building or the apartment itself was in bad condition so i had to like live with a friend for a month while i was apartment hunting because this thing of driving from limpopo to gauteng to come view apartments was not gonna work out like i think in a week would drive but drive up twice and drive down on the same day so it was like costly it was exhausting it was time consuming because imagine the two hours you take driving from gauteng to limpopo and back so it was like mm -mm, i'm not doing this so i stayed with a friend for like a month and then eventually i found an apartment uh well i found an apart another apartment first and then when i was like ready to commit and i was like okay fine i want to move in they were like i must pay for to five thousand and i'm like excuse me i'm sorry how much and then they're like no because uh because i was applying via my mom né? so they're like um no because your mom is like self-employed it's not reliable we can't what if something happens and like business is bad uh what how are you gonna afford rent then and i'm like um i gave you a six months bank statement for excuse me for the past six months income has been stable what makes you think that i'm not gonna be able to afford the next six months also it's it's not your problem it's my problem if i don't pay rent kick me out but until then why don't you give me the benefit of the doubt i'm like okay sharp or if that's how you feel let me pay, let me pay for three months three months three months like every three months i'll pay for three months in advance they're like no we can't do that we want the whole 12 months i'm like that is first of all that is binding that means i can't decide to terminate my lease before 12 months is over because then you guys are going to give me the run around to pay me back i'm not willing to take that risk so i was like ah, you know what it's fine i'll look for another apartment cool i look for another apartment and listen this is it's the apartment i'm in right now i moved in on the 3rd of april 4th 3rd 4th somewhere there the day after good friday i moved in then and then now it was the stress of furnishing the place having to fetch my things from storage in pretoria bringing them to Joburg, buying other things because at my previous apartment i really didn't make it homey because i wasn't sure how long i was gonna live there and i wasn't trying to buy shit that wouldn't fit in my next apartment so now i have the stress of having to buy things also this apartment is not really spacious but you guys will see that when i do the apartment tour but yeah eventually i moved in i started with it okay i actually started with it before i moved in like not exact oh my god i started with it when like the monday after they accepted me and then i moved in here like a month later and yeah so i've been busy it's been hectic i haven't been able to do much well i've been going out a lot but like that's different like you know when it when it comes to filming and not that i didn't try guys like i did try i did film a couple of videos of which i did not like i think i deleted like three different videos because i did not like them i did not like either the lighting or the makeup but i'm not gonna delete this one i promise i'm gonna upload it like before the end of the week i'll be done editing and i'll upload this video but yeah that's where i've been i also have a few things coming up like a few exciting things in terms of like in the aspect side of what what am i saying in the lifestyle aspect of my channel i'm going to be doing a couple a couple or more than a couple of uh restaurant reviews because i've been going to like i think since i moved to job work i've been to like four or five different restaurants and that's like in a space of a month or so yeah so i've been to like quite a few restaurants and i've always wanted to do like a restaurant review but by the time i thought of doing this in pretoria i 
I had already gone to most of the restaurants in Pretoria and I don't like doing the same restaurant twice but it's fine I'll do it here I just have to like figure out a way I can do it because I'm not about to drive around or walk around with my camera everywhere I go so I'm just gonna have to like try to use my phone see how I can do it so that I get all the important parts in and so that it's still like a proper video i'm also not sure of the structure like if i'm gonna do like a sit down and then show you guys pictures of the food or the restaurant or the menu or if i'm just gonna like make it a vlog kinda oh i'll also be making vlogs i'll also be posting vlogs they won't always be busy like me going to events or whatever but it won't be me how i spend my weekends like whenever i do go out or like spend the day with me or whatever it's just going to be sometimes again it's going to be long vlogs like spend the weekend with me and sometimes it's going to be like a short vlog where i'm like spend the day with me and i'm like probably running errands or something but yes i'll be doing vlogs um yeah uh that's about it Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video.